Hey, how's it going? I'm starting a couple minutes late, sort of. Sorry, I to get on my computer and all that and look up, ready to go. Uh, we'll be playing. Finally, Mortal Kombat One is out, and uh, I already started playing it, but I haven't touched the story mode yet. Uh, so I do plan to play that today. Check out the story mode and start playing that. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing for today. Uh, I'll be online for a couple of hours. I went for a long time uh, yesterday. I went from six to like nine. No, not six, from six to nine. Almost six to midnight yesterday. Almost six hours just playing nonstop Mortal Kombat 11. And uh, I've been looking forward to starting the story mode in Mortal Kombat 1. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing for the for the day. And uh, yeah, man, should be fun. Uh, probably start off with a couple of warm-up matches. Uh, because I'm still kind of getting used to the Mortal Kombat 1. It's, it's pretty similar to Mortal Kombat 11 from what I've played so far. Uh, but, you know, I, I've been having fun with it. I just don't have too much time to play yet. Uh, but I really want to get started with the story, so I'm going to be doing a story mode. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing through story, because that should be a lot of fun. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, probably have a hard stop at 9, because I want to... Limit how much time I'm on. I'm on Twitch today because I was online quite a bit yesterday. Uh, I stayed up a bit late last night too, <laughs> so that didn't help. I didn't even get to wake up early to watch the Nintendo Direct uh, live on Twitch, but I did get to see it like as it was it was coming out. It was, it was good, but you know, uh, yeah, it was good. Some pretty interesting announcements and stuff. So yeah, but. I'll just leave it at that. I'm gonna start playing some Mortal Kombat 1 and uh, we'll go from there. Alright. Sweet. Uh. Alright. Let me do a couple of versus matches before I jump into the story mode. Alright, here we go. is pretty man although it does feel like it has a little bit of a optimization issues at least to leave the sword through it feels like it's kind of the frames drop every once every every yeah, a little bit here and there and I'm pretty sure it's on my laptop because my laptop can handle this game pretty well but uh, I think the game needs to get updated with some patches and stuff I mean not surprised it's still early access so Game is like completely out yet to everybody. Oh, no. Alright, let me try. Blue King! Versus Sub Zero. Sub Zero! Sweet. Striker! Frost! <laughs> Cage Mansion. Come in from the cold, Pihan. <laughs> and again kneel before you? <laughs> Round one. Fight! <laughs> Finish 
him. That was quick. something about my frame rate issues right now I think at this point it's safe for me to assume that now it really is my computer that's being taxed I am streaming at the same time I'll doing this so let me see we already do it fatalities yep you already know man what's a Mortal Kombat without fatalities what's up Weaver hey, dude, man. hang on I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my my frame rate, it's like chugging along a little bit. We do auto config. Uh, probably lower down on my Let me see. What could it be? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's at this point my computer is just. It's it's handling it's too much for the computer to handle, but I doubt it. I'm gonna pull up my task manager here, keep an eye on it while we do another fight. Let me try that. All right. How's it going, man? This game is uh, it's good, man. It's good. Let's just download more RAM. Where it's so easy. <laughs> Where it's so easy. Let me try Scorpion. Scorpion. Shadows fallen on your soul. No, brother. I've seen the light. Scorpion wins. Yes, we 
fatalities are great, man. Wow. They are really... <laughs> they are really graphic, man. <laughs> they really are. Alright, let me see what autoconfig does. It's probably going to tone down my graphics since I'm streaming. I'm pretty sure me having to encode my stream is also having an effect on the graphic. Auto config does. Pardon uh, the black screen, I'm auto-configuring Mortal Kombat 1's graphics because uh, like my computer's kind of broken. But I think it's just completely off the forward to playing through the game story mode because uh yeah it's been a lot of mortal kombat on mine lately all right what did it do with my graphics oh wow it said it's a low no way no way really i have to go down to low graphics bullshit how no way i was running this shit I was running this game just fine, and ultra settings are off, offline just fine earlier. Huh. Wow. Uh. Am I downloading something in the background? No, I'm not. Wow. Seriously. All right. Let me let me do a match. Let me see how much the graphics changed. Wow, I cannot believe it put me in the low settings. And this is me on a 3080, but this is, to be fair, it's a laptop 3080, so there's that. Uh, let's do... Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. And, uh, let's do... Uh, Liu Kang. Liu Kang. Sonya Blade. Sonya Blade. <laughs> Serena. The Great Hall. I will now demonstrate why you sended those swords. Holy shit! I've been miyagi <laughs> You haven't seen Frost in a long time. I know, Cleaver. I'm actually looking forward to that too. Fight. Yeah, something is up. This doesn't seem right. This is 
supposed to be low settings. And even with low settings, it's still running like below 50 frames. Something is up. You can't have too much cake. Round two. Fight. I can already see where the graphics are going down. restart the game this this doesn't add up even in low settings it had no difference in frame rate something's going on uh what is going on here i'm gonna put this back to ultra high man i have dlss on right yes see my changes yes Yeah, let me let me quit the game real quick. I'm going to relaunch this because something clearly is going on with the game in particular. Because I mean, it's not anything I got going on here. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at my task manager and it wasn't even being pushed to its limit still. So could be that maybe I I honestly think it's it's just the game uh, not being completely optimized yet. But that just it could just be me uh, but I'm gonna give it another try and see what happens if I just rerun it so let me go ahead and replay it thank you appreciate it yeah I've always been I've always been really big on like ocean backgrounds because I love the ocean <laughs> It's kind of worked out uh, ever since I did that display capture of my monitor. It kind of worked out to just keep the display capture going. Because before I would actually set up each game on my PC as a separate game, as a separate source. But now I'm just like, whatever's on my just on main monitor, that's what's getting displayed. So, yeah. It's kind of worked out. Having liberated the hourglass and become keeper of time, my next task was to restart history. Not beholden to past events, I was free to craft a new era. It was with humility and restraint that I approached this blank canvas. After careful preparation, 
I began work, painting for the darkness. Yep. After eons passed, I sketched out the rails. Nice. After eons more, I brushed them in with life. That's exactly why I did a. Uh, in my new all era, in order. all beings will have the opportunity to find peace. Whether or not they do, will be their responsibility. For my power only permits me to begin this endeavor. It is the duty of mortals to finish it. Yeah, that's why Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath is so important. Uh, it tied in directly to how Mortal Kombat 1 was going to start. So, yeah. Alright, let's see how the game runs now, now that I restarted it. I'm actually curious if, the, if there's anybody else out there that's complaining about the game feeling a little unoptimized on PC, because I get the feeling that's what's going on here. I'm not seeing any Robocop or Terminator in this. <laughs> And you ain't going to see it, man. It's not happening. Do me a, can someone do me a favor? Can someone go on Twitter? And can someone look up and see if there's anybody else experiencing any kind of... Uh, uh, issues with the PC version of Mortal Kombat 1? I'm just wondering if I'm not alone dealing with that. It really doesn't look like it's my computer that's being pushed. We'll see Batman soon as TLC. <laughs> That'll get the day. What up, Zero Man? Uh, I shall do Kung Lao. Kung Lao! Versus Ken Chi. Ken Chi! Full seat, full JCBD is guile as well. <laughs> yes. Frost. Frost. Jax. Car. Like a cruise on a crude motor fest at the moment. Game is hella fun. You should get it. It's based on Hawaii. It's based on Hawaii? No way. Oh, you just caught my attention with that. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> I'll look into that game now. Huh. Just had to say it was based on Hawaii. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go to the Cage Mansion again. Cage Mansion. My cousin, Kung Jin, is fascinated by the Yakuza. Do whatever it takes to quash that interest. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Fight! Fight! Oh, it's running a lot better now. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, I'm fixing the frames now. Good. Now we're in business. Oh, I don't 
these fatalities are brutal, man. <laughs> right, I'm still kind of running the game through its paces before I start story mode. I do have every intent to start story mode in a, in a little bit. I'm just Since I keep seeing that my frame rate is not consistent, um, I'm like uh, trying to figure out if it's still running good or not. Uh, Kitana versus Melina. Melina. Frost. You can take Jax. Jax. Okay. Keep me updated, Cleaver, because maybe it really is just my computer struggling right now, but. We'll see. I have a feeling maybe I should have restarted my laptop or something. Uh, let's do... The Hourglass. The Hourglass. I want Shao and Reiko! Do not fail me! I wouldn't dream of it, Empress. focusing on my fighting because I keep looking at the top right corner for my frame rate and my frame rate still kind of hovers below 60. Cleaver, what did you find? Did you see anybody else having like performance issues with the game? Round one, fight. 4K graphics are fine, but the CGI videos are causing a lot of stuttering. Any attaching to me? That's my thing so far? Really? Try to turn down the, the resolution to 1080. Some others aren't even able to load up to the title screen. Oh my god, that's horrible. No way. You dare threaten royalty? I'm bad. Fight. Huh. Well, I mean, it is day one, so issues like this are, I guess, are to be
No. are good man <laughs> all right let me tone down the game to 1080p and see if that helps with my frame rate issues all right i might have to do that when i'm streaming it maybe all right so let's go to graphics then any b 1080p! Yes! Did that improve it? No, it doesn't. Ha! Huh. It doesn't really make a difference. Damn, I guess I really am stuck with 2560, huh? Yeah, everyone, overall, everyone is moving to console. They are saying PC port is shit right now. That's good to know because uh, that kind of makes me glad I got uh, the collector's edition on Xbox. So now I have a reason to play this on Xbox uh, Series X because uh, uh, the PC version apparently ain't doing too hot right now. And this is with DLSS on and everything uh, to upscale it and all that good stuff. And it's still like running below 60. Like what the heck man? I wonder what would happen if I turn it off. What if I turned off DLSS? Let me try that. It's probably gonna run worse, but we'll find out right now. People are struggling at 30 frames per second with a 4070 Ti? What? No way! Wow, that's horrible. You gotta be kidding me. Sub-Zero. Baraka. Baraka. Frost. Kano. Kano. <laughs> Gate Mansion. Expect no compassion, freak. Such a cold heart, Sub-Zero. <laughs> Yeah, my frame rate is suffering. It's at 50 frames. It was, little, it was doing a little bit better before. Okay, DLSS did help. A lot of people are going for refunds on the PC version right now? No way! So I really am not the only one going through this. Holy shit! Daybreakers don't Round quit. Two. Wow! I mean, considering the kind of performance I'm getting, I can see why. They're doing a console switch immediately. Damn! That just really makes me glad I, I got a first copy of the game on a console. So. Wow. 
no freaking way. That's, that's a shame. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get fixed in time. The name I haven't seen in a bit. Ariakis, what the heck? Yo, what's up, man? It's been a while. How you doing? Ah. I guess we were gonna get quite the day one patch. Yeah, clearly. I sure hope we do. I'm even wondering if I can even play the story mode like this. I might give it a try. I, I really want to play the story mode. It's been a long time. Tell you want to have to come in and say hi before I hit the stack. <laughs> hi, man. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually experimenting with uh, earlier stream times this week. So that's why you see me online at this hour. Normally, I'm online from like 8:39 and Ooh. Okay, that's Sub Zero wins. Oh, that's a really bad bug. <laughs> that, that looks. That, wow, really? This game is also buggy. His head is literally just floating in bed. <laughs> wow, that's funny. That's not the first time I've seen that. Early access never looked so good, right? Tell me about it. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm experimenting with early streaming times. That's why you see me online right now. So to today and yesterday and tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming from 6 to like 9 or 10 o'clock. So I'm thinking about maybe making the switch, but this is kind of an experiment for, for me right now. You know? So it's good seeing you, man. I hope everything is okay with you. I've just been really hyped for Mortal Kombat 1, because uh, I love Mortal Kombat, man. Got a favorite character of the Mortal Kombat populace? Ah, man. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Who would be my favorite Mortal Kombat character? Uh, I kind of like Johnny Cage, to be honest. He's bleeping funny. I like Johnny Cage, and I like Liu Kang. Johnny Cage. Cage. Let me play as Johnny Cage real quick. Johnny Cage versus Raiden. Raiden. Oh, gee, Johnny Cage was my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. Frost. I just love how hilarious Johnny Cage was. Well, not was, but is, you know. <laughs> Striker. You miss the character in your actions? I kind of do too. I mean, you still kind of get them, but they're only at the character select screen. If I rematch. Uh, character, you don't get a character interaction anymore like in a, uh, Mortal Kombat 11, which I'm a little disappointed about. It's a bit of a downgrade for me, but hey man, it is what it is. Hanging Gardens. I told you Madame Bo would be a tough negotiator. Yeah, I wish she was my agent. Mortal Kombat 3 or 4? Oh, man! Dude, you gotta get on these new Mortal Kombat games, Ariac. This is really good! My family plays the shit out of Mortal Kombat, man. We've been really excited for Mortal Kombat 1 for a long time. I'm glad it's finally out, even if right now it's really like crap. Let's see. Some of the damn 
3080 graphics card. Fatality. Uh, okay. Talk about talent. Meet Hollywood's newest star. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> fatality. What the hell? Johnny Cage wins. What is that fatality, man? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Just got home from work. You playing matches or story mode? Right now I'm just doing matches on my own, Densetsu, but I'm about to try the story mode. We just found out that the PC version seems to be having performance issues, because uh, even with uh, low settings, this game runs like shit, man. <laughs> His own Hollywood starred face, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let me put on DLSS again. Uh, I'll leave it at 20. Okay. Yes, save it. Yeah, uh, Cleaver was looking into it because uh, he was seeing that, uh, well, we were seeing that I was having, like, uh, frame rate issues with the game, so, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, sir, have fun. Gotta go to bed. 4 a.m. will be here way too soon. Wait, what that? Wait, 4 a.m.? Where the heck are you, man? Are you, like, abroad or something? Oh, shit. Hopefully you're not. Well, maybe you are, but not. <laughs> All right, man. Sounds good. Ah, you're in Houston. Okay, you gotta go get some sleep. I get you, man. I get you. All right, man. Have yourself a good night, Ariagas. It's good seeing you again. Hopefully, I'll catch you another time, man. Much love. I'll see you around. Have a good one, man. Sleep well. Sleep well. <sighs> you too, man. It's good seeing you. Glad to hear you're doing all right. All right. Uh... 90 nights. Let us do... Who have I not tried yet? I haven't tried Rain yet. Rain. And then we'll take out... Reptile. Reptile. Frost. I like Frost as an assist. Serena. Serena. <laughs> Temple of Kataravala. Meeting Outworld's High Mage should be an honor. Keep your derision to yourself, Zaterran. I can't believe we got else in the game. What the hell ever? <laughs> Talking about Frost. That interaction with yesterday was great. I don't think we did that one on stream when I did that. <laughs> Round 
team fight. Bad bug, man. Every time you do a brutality, the character's head is just literally floating in midair. <laughs> Day one bugs, man. Hashtag early access bugs, man. Ooh. Round one. Fight. Man, it's, a, it's a early access bug. Totally will. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Sounds good, man. You got it on, uh, I'm assuming on PlayStation, did Setsu, or on Xbox? Where, where'd you get it on? <laughs> or you have it on PC also? I don't know if you have it on PC. Oh, you have it on Steam! Oh, nice! So if we wanted to, we can go at it. Huh. That's good to know. I don't know this, this is character matches right now. I'm a little hesitant to start the story mode just because I'm having all these per um, these uh, performance issues. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, at least I'm not experiencing the game always at 30 frames per second or less, but it's not running at a silky uh, 60 frames, so it's kind of making me not want to do story mode until I switch over to the Xbox version, but since I haven't even... <laughs> since I haven't even... Unboxed my collector edition copy of Mortal Kombat 1 on Xbox, and I haven't even installed it. I won't be able to do that tonight, so I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Maybe I'll try it. Mission right. failed. Awesome. We'll get him next time. What up, Laser Wave? How you doing, man? Uh, let me try. Shang Tsung. <laughs> Against uh, smoke. Smoke. Uh, Frost. Homelander is not out yet. Along with the other DLC characters, they're not out yet. Jax. I wasn't expecting them to be out already. Coming out later. Uh, the great. 
great hall. You won't trouble Earthrealm again. A claim with no basis, in fact. Did I do the shaders preparation thingy? I did. I did. I must have to do it again. Why? Is that what could be causing my performance issues, or...? Wait, that's like one of the first things that I did. a lot better in Oh, 
brutality. Man, that really Jay takes me that brutality wins. seeing the damn head just floated midair like that. Yeah, but look at how the head floats in midair. That's not supposed to be happening. That's a, that's a bleeping bug. <laughs> Ooh. Let me finish you. fatalities are still on point and admittedly the, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get I'm starting to get tired of all these frame rate issues I'm having with the game man it's starting to take my enjoyment from playing it I wasn't dealing with these issues when I was uh, playing on my own offline um, earlier today so it could just be because I'm streaming at the same time as I'm playing but I check my I've already checked my task manager and it's like not even being pushed. But it's like what Clayton said, it's it's more than likely that the game just has performance issues and it seems like I'm not the only one dealing with it. Because there's people with 4070s, 4080s struggling to even get the game running at 30 frames per second according to what Cleaver said earlier. Yeah. Like I'm seeing my CPU use usage and it's only at 55%. <laughs> so I still got plenty of headroom. Ugh, man. I mean, there doesn't seem to be much else I can do. I mean, unless I just come down to high settings. But even if I do that, it's not going to make a difference. I'll try that. Let me see if that does make a difference. I have not started story mode. I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether it's even worth it for me to start on the PC because uh, these performance issues are really bad on PC right now, man. I would start on Xbox, but I don't even have uh, the Xbox version set up yet, because I wasn't expecting the game to be running like this. No, I have not. I still gotta do that. You might have to handle that for me. Uh... I haven't played this Tanya yet. Tanya! <laughs> Just what? Just 
approve it over text? What? Wow, man, look at this. My frame rate is just awful. Just approve it over text. <coughs> Let me know what you're ordering. Or let's talk about after this after the stream is over. The flesh pits. I don't envy your task. Rebuilding the Umgadi. I don't either. But it must be done. the game running on high settings. Not ultra high settings, but high settings. And the game is still running worse than how I had it running before. Like, really? What is this? No wonder people are asking for a refund for the PC version. Damn! This is awful. What do you guys think I should do? You guys think I should try to still start the story mode like this? Or should I hold on? Because I'm, I'm having mixed feelings about whether I should right now. These frame rate issues are really one. Fight. Man. Fatalities, man, they are really brutal. <laughs> They're a lot more brutal than usual. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a good thing because that's the point of a fatality, but still, <laughs> they're quite brutal. I mean, at this point, I might as well see each, each character's fatality. Uh, I already saw Tanya's. Melina. Baraka. 
Frost. Kano. Living Forest? Living Forest. Eventually, Tarkat will take your mind. If I succumb before you, kill me. <laughs> Tanya's already, right? Already did rain. Already did shank soil. Do general shop. General shop. Blue King. Frost. Sector. You have no army to command, General. Those loyal to me still follow. Today you die. Round two, 
fight. Totally finish him. No! Oh, wow! Unless you try once and if you mess up, you fail? What is up with that? No way! Ah, I thought it was still. I thought it was like timer based. Huh. That's lame. You only get one shot at a fatality and you mess up automatically. Character falls down. Round one, fight! Fight! <laughs> again general shaw wins his head is floating in midair man this is a nasty ass bug oof ah. round one fight Yeah. 
finish him. All right, let's try this again. Fatality. General Shao wins. That's such a silly ass fatality, man. He spins himself bleeping hard, his skin starts to come off. Okay, man. Whatever. <laughs> so silly. Huh. Alright. It's not the Shao Kahn I knew. Well, apparently he's not Khan yet. He's just a, gen a general in this one. Sin down. <laughs> Kitana. Frost. Sonya Blade. <laughs> Our cotton colony. I saw how Johnny Cage looked at you. I think I can handle an actor, Mother. I know you're playing it on Steam also. Are you having uh, performance issues too, or is it just me? Final round, fight. Change it like that. Ah. Miss him put once, that's all you got. Round one, fight. Yeah. <laughs> 
finish. Down, left, I mean, down, left, down, X. Who's yeah. your queen? Oh! Fatality. <laughs> Sindel wins. Ouch. <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> Who's your mommy? <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Damn. That was cool. Alright, next one. Rako. Versus, uh... Here's Johnny! Oh, what up, man? How you doing? Sub Zero. Sub Zero. Striker. Okay, striker. Serena. <laughs> Serena. What up, man? How you doing? Uh. <coughs> Corrupted Forest. Corrupted Forest. Your warriors are inferior to ours. A perilous assumption, Reiko. Round one, fight! Fight! Change that, man. I serve out. 
don't mind me. Oh my god. Fatality. Wow. Rako wins. Oh, that's that's bad, man. Ooh. That was pretty bad. It's another fatality. I'm trying to come with fatalities on these peeps. Yeah. Alright, smoke. Smoke. Reptile. Reptile. Sector. Darius. Treasure chamber. Why do all the Terrans live in Zikander? In the past, warm bloods herded us there. Round one, fight! Oi. Him. When you're playing as the ice climbers, good to know. Nice. Wait, so da da da. Okay. <laughs> Scorpions? I don't know if I did do Scorpions Fatality. I'm pretty sure I did. Scorpion. Oh, Just to be sure. Ashra. Ashra. <gasps> was it like the first one you did? Probably was. I'll just do yes. it. Just to be sure. Dari. The Tea House. You've come far from the Nether Realm. I hope to never return. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Fight. <laughs> Am 
actually kind of glad I got rid of variation uh, between the characters. See this one. Okay. Yeah, Krieger was right. Yeah, it's okay. Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero. Reptile. Reptile. Goro. Goro. Uh, Cyrax. Cyrax. <laughs> Wuxi Academy. What color is the Terran blood? This fight won't answer that question, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero wins. Sub-Zero wins. <laughs> I'm 
kind of enjoying going through each character and just seeing their fatality. That's kind of fun. So it gives me a chance to try really at least once. Ugh, reptile. Reptile. Versus. Uh, versus Nitara. Nitara. Serena. Kano. If my race could acquire your shape-shifting skill, all realms would be threatened. Reptile wins. 
reptile weeds. Shit. Alright. Ah. What if they added Mario to Mortal Kombat 1? Imagine a fatality of Mario stopping them to death. As much as I would love to see that happen one day, Nintendo would never let that happen to Mario. Ooh, all the kids that see Mario in a Mortal Kombat game. You can see him get his head chopped off and mutilated who would be traumatized for life, man. <laughs> Raiden. Gearus. Gearus. Goro. No, this is a Switch exclusive of mine. <laughs> Guess. Jax. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Where do we go? The, gate. the gateway. The prior Raiden was overwhelmed by darkness. I won't make that same mistake, Gearus. Alright, so Gearus remembers what happened in the previous game? Round one, fight. At this point, I should probably just wait on starting story mode until I switch over to the console version, right? Because, uh, seeing as the PC version of this run a, a silky 60 frame, it just made me run out of quick story mode now. Round two, fight. I'm assuming he hasn't been having issues considering that he's been quiet. Finish him. Finish him. Da, 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 da. Victory. Oh, that was a flawless? Damn! I didn't even notice I pulled that off. Flawless victory. You'd love to see it. Flawless. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know about that, but sure, why not? Luke. Luke. Curious what he says against Garrus. Garrus. Goro. Frost. At the hourglass. The hourglass. I mean for you to replace me. I can only succeed you, Lord Liu Kang.
Smash him. Double drag it. There's a cameo fatality. Really? Let me try to do that one. Da, da, da. Okay. Ah, it didn't work. I think I was supposed to flip, press trigger and I pressed right bumper now that I think about it. I'm gonna try that again. Oh, I'm sure there are. I am really sure there are, Cleaver. I, I just Round I don't know, one, I don't know how to do them. Oh, I, was it with right? No, it was the right bumper. I did. Huh. Why did it not go through? Oh, well. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing though, now that you talk about our multiple content, I noticed that they did not bring back the crypt with uh, Mortal Kombat 1. I was really surprised about that. And a little disappointed. Because they just replaced it now with a shrine that you just round two fight. spend your money in and it gives you a random unlock. And now you don't actually go through a crypt and choose what you want to open up and see what you get. I don't know. The more I play this game, the more I sometimes feel like it was a little rushed. It feels like that. Just a little bit, but it could just be me. Maybe, maybe Mortal Kombat 11 really spoiled me. Maybe it's not. So finish him. You think you're getting that feeling too? Yeah. So it's not just me kind of feeling that? There's a couple of things that feel like damn great compared to Mortal Kombat 11. Fatality. Liu Kang. I wonder if there is even um, friendships and all that that you can still do with my game. I know brutalities are still in, but nothing about uh, fatality yet. Okay, we already did Johnny Cage. We, I don't know if we did Kung Lao yet. Kung Lao. Kung Lao versus... General Shaw. Uh, rematch from Mortal Kombat 9. Frost. Kano. Tomb of the Dragon Army. Molina's government will be toppled. Not on our watch, General. I also missed the three way interactions and how they were part of uh, every match restart. I, I kind of missed that too. Because now they don't talk when they jump into a fight, man. When you jump into a fight, I don't need this.
finish him. All right, but, 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 okay. Fatality. Kung Lao wins. Rip. Damn. Poor, uh... What's it called? Uh, poor Shao Kahn, man. Or General Khan, as they call him in this one. That fatality didn't even go into 30 frames per second. Wow. Yeah, this game has some serious uh, performance issues. Pretty sad about that. Well, at least on PC, but I mean, it is day one. I'm sure it'll get better with time. It's a good thing I have the console version to fall back on. Lee May. Scorpion. Striker. Cyrax. Sundo. Do you think of Outworld as a threat? Only certain people in it, First Constable. I can if you want. Yeah. Round one. Oh, I do want to at the very least start it. At the very least start it. Assuming I don't get caught up when I'm coming to the line. There's a good chance it might happen. Fatality, man. I really don't like that. That sucks. Look at back the way it was in Mortal Kombat 11. Let's try that again. Do you have an input problem? Does that make me my rig with the graphics? Really? Are you having performance issues? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I'm asking, do you have performance issues with the game? With your story mode? Like, is, is the game running at a... Of the highest frame rates, like it's happening with me, or you can't deny it's running good Round for you. Two, fight. <laughs> It's not at a smooth uh, 60 frames, or? And what kind of graphics card are you on? This, I'm running this in a 3080. I mean, granted, it is a laptop 3080, but still, it's a really beefy card. And it's struggling, man. I mean, surprise, I mean, I guess it could be because I'm streaming at the same time, but... Still, I mean, hmm. all right. Well, that was that fatality. Let's do Kenshi. There's six, about just five more characters to go. Kenshi. Basically, and it's a 1080 not TI with 32 gigabytes of RAM. My inputs are a bit off with moves with my PS4 controller. Oh. Really? You don't have an Xbox controller that you could use? Because that's what I'm using. But an Xbox controller, I haven't had issues. Surprisingly, because I was having issues with an Xbox controller in Mortal Kombat 11 the other day. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Temple of Kataravala. One doesn't forget almost being vivisected. Nor almost having one's throne stolen. So your frame rate, it's at 60 though. Is that right? Round one, fight. Or below 60.
Oh, this one. Can she wins? That's the one that they revealed when they re when they showed off Kenshi, wasn't it? That was actually a pretty good fatality. <laughs> nice. All right, four more. And then I'll have at least seen it. Everyone's fatality. At least starting fatality. Baraka. Baraka. Uh, Baraka versus Kitana. Kitana. <laughs> Serena. <laughs> Darius. <laughs> Gage Mansion. The changes you seek must be made slowly. My patience wears thin, princess. Another floating Baraka head. Wins. Oops, forgot about the brutality. Damn it. Let me do that again. <laughs> Round one, fight.
Big fan, or big Dan, I should say. That ah, doesn't look like big fan from afar. <laughs> How you guys doing? <sighs> hey, man, it, it has been quite some time, man. I've been, uh, I'm checking out Mortal Kombat 1, as you can see here. I'm playing it on PC, but, uh, unfortunately, I'm seeing that the PC version has some serious, uh, some serious, uh, performance issues. And I'm a little disappointed about that. Luckily for me, I have the Xbox Series X version, but I don't have it installed yet. Because I got the collector's version of the game. Yeah, so it keeps running below uh, 60 frames. Also, Bearded, I don't know if you've seen this, but since you rated me, here, check this out real quick. He is the life of parties he has never attended. If he were to punch you in the face, he would have to fight off the strong urge to thank him. Sharks have a week dedicated to him. He is the most interesting man in the world. I don't always watch streams, but when I do, I prefer a shadow spirit 6690. Stay thirsty, my friends. Stay thirsty, stay thirsty. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know if you've seen that, but there you go, man. <laughs> I appreciate the raid, man. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, we're just finishing up going through all the, uh... Stay thirsty, my friend. Stay thirsty, stay thirsty. We're almost done going through all the characters' fatalities, man. <laughs> That's all I've been doing up to this point, because, uh... This game has some really bad performance issues on PC, and it's... It's... It's been really terrible. Keep in mind, keep in mind, I'm on a 3080 graphics card and it's still like struggling. I'm just like, yeah, this game needs to get optimized. Alright, man, yes, do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do. I'll be here for a bit. I appreciate the raid, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Alright. Gears. Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung. <laughs> Sonya Blade. <laughs> Goro. The squalor I endured as a child. Do not lie. I know the truth. Uh -oh. Round one, fight. fight. Twitching and shit. Damn, that's that's brutal. Ooh, rip Shang Tsung, man. 
Damn. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> now he's only half the man he used to be, I know, right? <laughs> that looks beautiful. Alright. I haven't played as Ashra yet. Ashra. This is my first time. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Ashra versus Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. Darius. Jax. Cage Mansion. Come on. A tour would really help my story research. No living creature should visit the Nether Realm. He really wants to go to the Nether Realm for a tour, really? <laughs> Round one fight. I like that. It's good to see Johnny Cage is so hilarious as ever, man. Your life ends here. Round two, fight! <laughs> the shit out of, out of, um, Johnny Cage, man. Ah, I gotta go, gotta go. Ah. <laughs> Alright, last one. Nitara. Nitara. <laughs> I wanna do Johnny Cage again. Johnny Ooh. Cage. This funny. Serena. <laughs> Sonya Blade. <laughs> uh, let's go to the gateway. The gateway. Ooh. Well, that looks no crime of fashion. Kind words won't save your life, Earth Realmer. I totally heard. Me. 
Floating in midair. Oh, okay, I didn't get to do the fatality. One more. Coronavirus started rip. <laughs> well, I think that's it. That's all of them. That was fun. I got to see all the fatalities, and at least I got to play as every character. At least once. Johnny Cage kind of looks like Talbot from Uncharted 3. Does he really? Man, Uncharted 3 is such a good game. Alright, well, those are all the fatalities. There you go. What do you think? Should I try story mode real quick? I mean, the only thing I don't like is I keep dealing with that sub 60 frames, but I do want to try out story. I mean, that's the big thing I really wanted to do, but. All right, fine, we'll give it a try then. Ooh, test your might? Really? They brought back Test Your Might and it's part of the story? That's dope. Okay. Alright, here we go. Finally, story time. My friends, your patience is about to be rewarded. For I have saved the best for last. I have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency. It will soon be on the shelves in every home of Outworld. This elixir is crafted from an ancient recipe. It has Patreon flowers, Margovian nectar, powdered teeth of an Arctican dragon. All this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. 
There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? Uh -oh. You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless. I'm sorry. You are... Someone fool enough to have believed you! My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later... She was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage, and you know what she said? It's nothing! Just Borjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. Backwater folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. You're on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want, Shang Tsung, is to elevate you. To make you the great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. A generous offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling Outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> a living? It is barely survival. And you were meant for more. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. Good harvest, Kung Lao. Yes. <clears throat> it is a blessing, Raiden. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here. Stooped and feeble like old man Wei. <clears throat> as long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures <laughs> will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, 
But what we do helps the village thrive. I know. But is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Beau's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? Ha! <laughs> Since when? You're on, Raiden. That is amazing. I am starving. I wonder what Madame Beau is making tonight. For you two, whatever you want. Thank you, Madame Beau. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Good. You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. I'm glad you're paying. Madame Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Delivered? Huh. The bet was filled. That's not what I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? Yep, here we go. <laughs> Wait, you mean fight? Yes. Right here, right now. Madame Bo can watch. Critique our form. Uh -huh. Best two out of three? Fair enough. We must be careful. Madame Bo will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, this won't last long enough for that to happen. You will be down in no time. Fight. Ooh, this story mode already looks really good, man. Holy shit. Anyone notice that that old lady kind of talked like, like, almost like, uh, what's her name? Mortal Kombat 11, um... The Buck Girl, uh, Devora. You have to talk like Devora a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I'm not too sure. Right? Yeah. I took note of that. Must we go another round? We both know how this ends. Coming, come now. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. You were hungry. <clears throat> oh, everything was delicious, Madame Beau. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. Madame Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. I have been busy, Smoke. 
The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madam Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection, or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madam Bo, is unfortunate. Against us, you are in over your head. We don't care who you are or who you are with. You will not menace Matt Bo. Fight! You? Honestly, I'm surprised too. Come on, let's help Madame Bo. Business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. Want more? I have plenty. You should have fled when you could. To regret ever crossing the Link Way. Fight! crossing me. Ah! <laughs> 
Incompetent. Uh, oh, that works. I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grand Master. Fight. You're a grandmaster. Interesting. Kung Lao, over here. <gasps> Don't tell me the old lady died. Madame Bo, she's out cold. Oh no, is she dead? Not yet. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Bo, how are you? Kung Lao. So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps, but they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire and protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test? Of your ability and character, yes. Li Han, Kui Liang. So these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Leave Feng Jian? I'm needed here. Earthrealm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. 
I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. Oh, so far so good, man. I already want to see more. Uh-oh, Johnny Cage. We're off the map. We should go back, recheck the route. It's this way. Is he trying to play as Indiana Jones, really? <laughs> That's great. The temple. <laughs> this is amazing. They're like doing like a Temple of Doom kind of thing. <laughs> Valis, you haven't missed out on much, man. How you doing? The darts came from here. Can you open it? Without killing us? <laughs> Let's hope so. We barely started the story about Immortal Kombat uh, 1. We barely in Chapter 2, and so far I'm like, damn, I want to keep playing this. <laughs> I'm not surprised, because the story mode was expected to be good. So I just entered the chapter where I gotta start playing as Liu, uh, not Liu Kang, as uh, Johnny Cage. And it seems like he's doing his best Indiana Jones impression right now. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Turn him off. And we're definitely getting warmer. How are these still burning? Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow. the floor that's not just any metal it's liquid mercury shit that stuff's toxic fatal only step where I step huh? what did I say the explosives that's our bridge do this right it'll fall across
got no time to die, crazy lady. You okay? Yes, we ready? Physics for the win. Let's go. Belongs in a museum. Adam. Honey, I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can, I need some water. Not have it. You don't need it. You're dead. Speaking of which, you just killed my best friend. And I'm not one to forgive and forget. Fight, boy. Honey, you can hear me. I just left order of water from me, Dad. Now where's that shield? I am not yet defeated. Yes, you are. Time to go home. Yes, Hi. Ah. I knew it. <laughs> I felt that one. You felt it too, right? Temple of Kadaravala, take 39, tail slate. That's a wrap. Oh my god. Oh. That was great. Steven, this was fantastic. Thank you. Steven? <laughs> is it supposed to be oh, Steven Spielberg? Just like the old days. <laughs> and these props. Jimbo killed it. <laughs> you did too, Johnny. Hey, uh, about my pitch. You know, the karate zombie thing? I'm thinking four films. Maybe a streaming series? Johnny, I don't have- You're right. Not here. I'll swing by your office after I change. Mm, I can't. Uh, have to be with the editors. Marsha will call you. Great! Have your assistant call me. That was great, Han. Wasn't it, though? We need to celebrate. I'm thinking private party. But, Johnny, we need to talk. Uh-oh. This is not looking good. You're not the martial arts megastar you once were, honey. You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris. We're fine. Can you join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. We have to cut back. Cut back? On what? Step one is still in this place. Mm. I need a refill. Johnny, we can't keep this up. You spent 10,000 on that sculpture, 30,000 on that drone, and this damn sword. Three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. That sword comes from... Ugh, that's not the point, Johnny! Chris, honey, the parts, the money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't, 
Johnny Cage is done. I didn't marry Johnny Cage. I married John Carlton. I'd give anything to have him back. Chris, come on, Chris, where are you going? His wife Fuck! Looks like, looks like Sonia. Hmm. How do you like that, Mr. A-list? Thank God. Oh, Chris, honey, I... Where's my wife? What did you... Your wife left. She's fine. You will be too, if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. You some kind of hired gun? Or do you know Sento's history? I know it. It's my family blade. No. No way you're Tyra clan. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. With Sento in my hands, I'll lead us out of the shadows. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Fight. Oh, that's supposed to be Genji? What the heck? Oh, wow. Kenji Takahashi. <laughs> I knew you weren't Tyra Clan. You know nothing, Cage. 400 years ago, the Tyra Clan were one of Japan's first families. They lost Sento after getting slaughtered at the siege of Aomori. There were survivors. They hid themselves by shedding the name Tyra for Takahashi. They joined the Bakuto for its protection. The Yakuza's predecessors. From first family, to crime family. I will break us free of the Yakuza's corruption, reclaim our name and our position. But my clan won't follow me unless I prove that I can lead. That's why I need Sento. Hmm. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> but great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Chris, you vixen. Nicely done. <laughs> sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. Juani Cage. <laughs> Kenshi Takahashi. What up, Will? A tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me, they're your scene partners. This I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. Hold on, hold on. 
I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Be hot, Kualiang, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Uh. Hey, you. Uh, wait, wait. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. <laughs> I'll give you my opinion in a bit. Hang on, Will. We're gonna have a cutscene. Was that necessary, brother? To put him in his place. That was a hit truly. One of a kind. Alright, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. Fight. Alright, Will. So far, the game is pretty good. Unfortunately, the PC version has some serious performance issues. So the negative things you've been hearing have been about performance issues. So far, in my experience, it's, from what I know, it has to do with the PC version. I just started the story mode in chapter two. Ugh, chapter two. Playing as Johnny Cage. And um, the story already is amazing. I, I, I'm loving the story. I want to know what happens next. It's, it's pretty good. You guys need a better fight. Um, we already went through all of the uh, we already went through all of the characters' fatalities. The fatalities are good, but it does sometimes feel like the game was a little rushed because there's a couple of things in Mortal Kombat One that feel like a downgrade to Mortal Kombat Eleven. A big one is all the character interactions that you got to enjoy before you started the fight, where you like do like uh, logo play and all that, you don't really see too many of those interactions anymore. And to me, that takes a lot of a lot of the charm away from the game. And I'll, I'll tell you more after. And scene. I There's, hope you're insured. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you're paying for my hachumi. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough. Ah. Uh. That's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Kui Liang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. God of fire. Well, that last one tracks. But what's an Earthrealm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now. What is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? <laughs> or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives. I'll go on more with my previous games on another time. I just don't want to talk too much about these cutscenes. But, um, those are my initial impressions so far. Hang on. I'll tell you one of the best. That is not a good idea. It is genius, Raiden. The next time we see Sub-Zero, I will have to thank him for inspiring it. Oh, that's how he see? got his hat. See? Won't be effective. <laughs> he got his hat. <laughs> wow. That is how he got Maybe his hat. Maybe it's too effective. <laughs> uh, we just need to get on with it. I've been cooped up here for months. I can't base a cinematic universe on Outworld's monsters and magic if I don't ever see them. 
that's why you're here? Liu Kang said this gig would change the arc of my life. That's how it gets done. My ex will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh, please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage. And it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but, uh... <laughs> what's our record at this tournament? Earthrealm and Outworld have long been evenly matched. But Outworld is gaining strength. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully, because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent us. Whichever one of you outlasts the others will be chosen. Raiden, step forward. <laughs> Good call. Call the weak first. Oh. You shall face him, Johnny Cage. Ready for your close-up? All right, let's do this. But remember, farm boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. I don't think you can handle this much boom. I am ready, Johnny Cage. My mind and spirit fight as one. Fight! Yeah, um, more, more opinions. Yeah, I, I'm with me and with Cleaver and whoever else is saying that the interactions of Mortal Kombat 1 leave a lot to be desired. And I'm talking about, like, outside of the story mode. Everything I'm talking about is outside of the story mode. Because the only interactions now you, you see when you choose a character is literally in the fighter select screen. And they only do like one line E. It's not a three-way interaction. It only lasts like five seconds exactly. And then when you're in a match and you and you win a match, when you restart a, a, a match with the same characters, they don't do anything else. They just do the same intro over and over again. And honestly, that feels like a huge downgrade for me from Mortal Kombat 11. I think I'm just spoiled from Mortal Kombat 11, but um, it it kind of sucks. I, I I I knew that this was a thing that they did uh, from the first time they showed the game off, but yeah, I mean, Mortal Kombat 11 was really charming with all the different interactions they had with all the different characters, man. Like every character combination had a different way that you would see those two characters interact. That actually made you want to play uh, the game on your own a lot more. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, the game is still good. It feels a lot like Mortal Kombat 11 with, you know, some uh, Marvel vs. Capcom thrown in it just with the assists. But, um, yeah, but Not bad a couple of things do feel a little uh, downgraded. They didn't bring back the crypt. Now you just spend your your your, your earned uh, coins at a shrine, and you get a randomized item um, every time you like spend a thousand coins. So that kind of sucks. I'm, I'm really surprised they did not bring the crypt back, especially how amazing the crypt was in Mortal Kombat 11. I think I'm just really spoiled in Mortal Kombat 11. I'm probably expecting too much, but. Part of me doesn't really feel like I am, because, in a way, it does kind of feel like the game feels a little rushed, man. Just this fight was an honor. And even Cleaver was feeling the same way. All right, I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll give more opinions in the next fight. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. Yeah. Hang on, man, I'll tell you more. 
You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Fight! <laughs> Oh yeah, and then what Cleaver means when, it, when he's when he's talking about these floating heads thing is there's a pretty nasty glitch going on right now at Mortal Kombat 1 where if you land a brutality, specifically the classic brutality that you know rips a, a person's head off from their body with an uppercut, their head stays floating in midair even after like it says the per character you're playing as wins. And it happens with every character I've done that brutality so far. This game clearly needs a day one patch. It's, it has performance issues like PC. I hear on console it, it plays a lot better. Luckily for me, I have the Xbox Series X version of Mortal Kombat 1, but I gotta install it on my console because I got the collector's edition version of the game. I have to it again. So uh, at some point, I'm, I'm gonna migrate to. The Xbox version is, is uh, yeah. Right now I'm getting nearly six, getting nearly 60 frames, but earlier I was getting like low 50, 45 frames. But this is with, with me rocking an NVIDIA GeForce 3080 graphics card. But to be fair, it is it is a laptop one. But yeah. Your experience shows. Man, I, 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 I don't I don't blame you. Honestly, sometimes I, I mean, a little bit, a little, I almost miss uh, Mortal Kombat 11, a little bit, just a little bit. And I don't even get me started about how they're going um, hard on microtransactions, but they kind of already did that with Mortal Kombat 11. They're bringing, they brought back all of the microtransactions they're trying to get people to buy, like buying costumes and cosmetics and all that stuff. It does, it does feel like uh, that's part of the reason why they got rid of the crypts, but apparently, according to some of the reviews I'm reading online, it does still have a lot of unlockables, but if you get through the shrine, you just gotta get them one by one through the shrine. You'll actually go up to a chest and choose what you want to pop. Do you still question my nerve? But I do not. Hold on. Yours was a well-earned victory. You may rest, Raiden. This evening, you will face your final opponent. Fifty bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty, not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. Fight! Oh, yeah. Um, more hot takes on Mortal Kombat 1. Um, I haven't tried all the modes yet. There's this new invasion mode they added to the game. But I haven't even loaded up yet. I hear it's supposed to be pretty good, so I gotta check that out. Um, the story mode in particular is amazing. I have no issue with, issues with the story mode so far. It's, it's really good. And honestly, it feels like a lot of the game went towards the story mode. To be honest, I'm not really surprised at it is stories in Mortal Kombat, these Mortal Kombat games are getting better and better for release. And uh, it shows, man, they, a lot of the budget went into the story, but it's cool. But like, 
seemed like the rest of the game kind of suffered for it just a little bit. I mean, it's nothing. I mean, it's, I don't want to make it seem like it's it's, it's bad because it's not. The game is fun. Um, it does play a lot like Mortal Kombat 11. So if you like Mortal Kombat 11, you'll probably like uh, Mortal Kombat 1. They got rid of variations for each character, so now each character has a set. Uh, amount of moves and all that, you have to remember variations and all that, so that's cool too, but... There is a first time for everything, Kung Lao. Hang on. Alright. More country stuff. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have... Congratulations, Raiden. For the tenement, you will need this. Forged by the Elder Gods, it gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead, try it. Incredible. But is it necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. <laughs> I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. He said it. Mortal Kombat. He said the thing. <laughs> Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. Do not become drawn in. You must focus on the task at hand. Sindel's daughters, yes. They do not disappoint. <laughs> we are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course, Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please. That's a JRPG farming simulator machine. Yeah, at first I thought the dress was pretty good, but I gotta admit, they didn't just announce a lot of milk boards in the remake. So, uh, yeah, yeah well, I've been checking my Shokan. The six-armed beings are not monsters. The monks described them 
But seeing them in person? Have a good night, Bearded. I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Thanks for coming, man. Not. I'll see you it around. It commemorates my late father. Much love, man. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of Outworld, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. Feeling that was good. There we go. Alright, I toned it down a bit. Hopefully that's better. First constable, our route was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, Your Highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Ooh. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. Worry expends energy for no purpose, Raiden. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Uh -oh. Red alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shah. Do not let him goad you. <laughs> is it me, or is Earthrealm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will- Will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earthrealmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. <laughs> Our game does look pretty cool. I can't wait to play that. Oh, here comes Sindel. Yeah, I read that. I gotta play through Crisis Core and Intergrade. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy. To continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Oof. Lord Liu Kang. There's a very Empress good chance Sindel. I will. Yes. It pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Spider-Man 2, Will. Can't wait. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory, as well as she preserves our capital's order. 
Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. Oof. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Fight! Yeah, I gotta admit, 2023 has been hella stacked with amazing games, man. And I, I am currently with B that I think my my game of the year this year is definitely gonna be Baldur's Gate 3, man. I wouldn't mind Tears of the Kingdom winning it too, but I honestly think a Baldur's Gate's gonna take take it, man. Baldur's Gate 3 is so good, man. I'm playing a lot of it offline and oh man, it's, it's the game that keeps on giving. I will admit it. That tested me. If you haven't played Baldur's Gate, I highly recommend it. It's it's amazing. Thank you for the match, First Constable. That's good, Cleaver. I should probably wait to play more co-op until that happens. Because co-op is a bit of a mess in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> My compliments, Raiden, on a well-fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao. Whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. In whose army have you served? In what wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Fight! Honestly, I, I... I mean, I'm, I'm sort of there with you, Will. I know the game is not perfect, but... Tears of the Kingdom, man, was, was an amazing game, too. You can't deny that. It was even better than Breath of the Wild in a lot of... in a lot of aspects. Don't even get me started with how much there is to explore and do in the game, man. May not have faced right. war, but honestly, if it if, if if it doesn't win game of the year, I I won't even be mad at that because even I sometimes feel like it is a little bit more of the same in a way, sort of. Maybe because it, you know you're just kind of traversing the same world over again just with a lot of changes and all that. But uh, I would want either Tears of the Kingdom. Or Baldur's Gate 3 to win Game of the Year this year. If any of those two win, I'll be really happy. Nice. Felled by a simple farmer. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. Hmm. Uh, she 
check the ring app, honey, and see what they're saying on the ring app. I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raiden. Though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain, the High Mage of Outworld. Not his given name, but one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, Princess? Uh, I'm fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. Though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age, the memories of that strife still linger. Well, I'm My kinda husband with you on some Jared believed that the future of our realms lay together. Hang on, hang on. Let us move forward in open dialogue. Letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, Champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth Realm is a devoid of all. That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission... You may go. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. It's it is bad shadow. enough we may lose to the Earthrealmers. But then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, your majesty? <sighs> Again with this? If you must. We must act on the sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises, shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. Uh-oh. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, general. Come. You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. Was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Kitana will take your place. What? Uh, there are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just needed time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. 
If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. You continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next, you face my daughter, Katana. Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, Your Highness. I will win this fight. For her, my Empress, and all of Outworld. Fight. Alright. Well, I'm, I'm kind of there with you with some of the stuff you said about Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I do find it to be a load of BS that, uh, they just casually, you know, they just conveniently forget about the Divine Beasts. Um, I didn't really forget about the previous champions, to be honest, but not one guardian from Breath of the Wild makes it into Tears of the Kingdom. I'm just like, why? Uh, there's just a lot of stuff that they don't explain. I mean, I know Nintendo has never... I know Nintendo Nintendo has never been really big on, um... On, uh, what's it called, uh... This isn't done yet. Face me! Uh... On story, but but still, I mean, it, it's, it's yeah. Sure, remember the new schedule. <laughs> I know, Cleaver. This is why I was like unsure if I wanted to do the story because I'm already getting all into it. I mean, I could stop here. Or I could stop at Ted and continue tomorrow. I'll probably put this on Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> I mean, I was supposed to stop at 9. Oh, 9 was like the earliest I was going to stop. 10 would probably be ideal, I think. No, actually, no. That would probably be... Well, I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> you fight well, princess. You want me to get offline soon, man? As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Uh-oh. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains. Defender of the Navala Coast. As has his family for generations, General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would take days. The but... mask. Story is great, man. I'm, I'm, I am really enjoying the story. Part. What do you guys think? You guys, you guys think I should just call it rest at 10 o'clock? I mean, I can. I can just continue this tomorrow. I'll just play Baldur's Gate in the meantime. Ooh. Liu Kang trains well, but not well enough to win. Yeah, you, you're probably right. <laughs> how they get you. Yeah. Claver, you want me to just finish at 10 and continue this tomorrow? Give me your honest opinion, man, because if you really want me to do that, I could do that, man. 
At least with Friday, I have an excuse to go super late. That is very true. It is Thursday, so. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me see how far I get it in like in a couple more minutes. <laughs> get off, Hold on. It's over. He won. I have done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earth Realm wins. <laughs> it's not lying, excuse. What do you mean? <laughs> May I assist you? Stay away, Earth Realmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the Outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. Alright, yeah! That was great! Very impressive. been eons. Oh. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. Huh. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the Hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Uh-oh. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindale's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. Huh. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Anything else? Shang Tsung is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agent. It's a tricky mission. I'd rather Raiden go along than this one. Hey! This one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. I am breaking my word with Empress Sindel by sending you into Outworld without her knowledge. Uh oh. Due to the tournament, Raiden is now a familiar face there. Sending him will only increase your risk of being discovered. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's Qi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the Elder Gods protect you. Violin, you're bringing Johnny Cage, I know, right? <laughs> uh, are we there yet? Again? How old are you? Five? What can I say? These boots weren't made for walking. If that is the most pain you feel today, consider yourself lucky. Oh, I'm already lucky. I've got Sento strapped to my back. 
I will reclaim it, Cage. Got three million? It's yours. You know I don't have it. And I bet you your Kuz pals could come up with it. Oh, that's right. You blew them off. Ah, if there's one lesson Hollywood's taught me, it's never burn bridges. You never know who can help. The Yakuza are leeches, bleeding out those too weak to resist. I grew up in that life, and I never understood it. Why my gain required others' pain. I got out. I need my clan out, too. We can't be part of their crimes any longer. Maybe, Valis. We'll see. Uh. But I think um, Liu Kang made a mistake sending them to Outworld. Probably shouldn't have done that. What's your precious say? That Shang Tsung is among those. <coughs> Things. Oh, my fans are gonna go nuts cosplaying them a cage gone. <laughs> Hold him still. If he squirms, I cannot extract marrow. That's Shang Tsung. Let's jump him after he's done. Oh, in fists of iron? We did this thing where, like, we... are not basing strategy on your movies, Cage. Let me go! You can't do this! The wound will heal in time. It is a small price to pay for progress. Second thought, this scene's playing fine without us. <gasps> yeah, I say we let him finish it. We have to save Shang Tsung. Liu Kang needs him alive. Why you'd want to, but you can't. You're one of his minions. You'll die in his place. Fight. All right. As much as I want to keep going, I need to. I need to try to <laughs> follow my experimental schedule here and stop right here, man. the The game is getting really good. But I will leave it at that as a cliffhanger, man. Ah, <laughs> I want to play more of the story, but I don't want to continue going on a little too late. I will, pr I will more than likely continue this tomorrow because it's it's probably just gonna be a lot of Mortal Kombat this week, man. Because that's all I've been playing: Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, and more Mortal Kombat. So, Claver, I hope you're happy, man. <laughs> Could have kept going, but. It's probably for the best I stop right here. Because I already went six hours. Nearly six hours last night. I don't want to do that again. Alright, y'all. That's going to be it for me. Uh, I'll be back online tomorrow. Again, starting at six o'clock. Um, after this week is over, for those of you who have been tuning in, I really would appreciate your feedback on what you guys think of, of this new uh, time frame I'm experimenting with with my streams. If it works out for the most of you, or if you guys like it better than how I usually do my streams at 8.30, let me know. I may consider switching to this moving forward. But, um, 
if I do switch to this time frame, I'm thinking I might do Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Because uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that Mondays and Mondays and Tuesdays or all that stuff. Or some other reasons I got going on. But I kind of like being able to do three back-to-back -back streams per week and just be like, one, two, three. And then I got the rest of the week to myself, you know. But we'll see. I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's, this is all experimental stuff, so... Uh, let me know what you guys think and how these streams have been going. I'll be back online tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Definitely with more Mortal Kombat 1 story mode. I'm going to resist the temptation to play this on my own. I think Baldur's Gate is calling to me in the meantime. So, uh, let me see if I can go raid somebody real quick. Will, have yourself a good night. Along with you, Valis, Cleaver, and everybody else that's here. Cold, you too. Uh, let me see... If we can go say hi to someone real quick. I'm going to go load up more. Oh. Ah, well, you know what? Let's go. Let's go raid Rio again. Rio has been playing through every single Mortal Kombat game in order. You know, he did all of them. I only started from nine, but he's already in Mortal Kombat um, nine right now. So he's probably doing the story mode with that. So let's go say hi to him again. So raid. Rio zero 09. Yeah, I mean, yesterday he was doing Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. I was like, damn, really? <laughs> I mean, personally, I've only really cared about Mortal Kombat starting from um, Mortal Kombat 9. I mean, I played a little bit of Deadly... I mean, I played some of Deadly Alliance and Deception and all that, but it was really where Mortal Kombat 9 started getting... started bringing Mortal Kombat back really good. You know? so, go say hi to him. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. So, have yourselves a good night. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios! Peace out! See ya! That's the Lego. Later, y'all. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, 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 bye